So algebraically, we've written this down before. Algebraically, when you're trying to find the equation of the inverse, step one, you're going to switch x and y. And then you're going to solve for y. So what is the inverse of negative x squared plus 4? Step 1, take your equation and switch the x and y values. So where there was an x, you write a y. Where there was a y, you write an x. And then solve for y. So we're going to subtract 4. on both sides. In order to get rid of that negative in front, we can either divide by a negative 1 or multiply by a negative 1. So I'm going to multiply by a negative 1. And then we can square root both sides. And we get plus or minus square root of negative x plus 4. Yes, I can go up just a bit. Yes. Is that okay? Now, if we were going to sketch both of these graphs, y equals negative x squared plus 4, that's a parabola that's been flipped down and then shifted up 4 units. So as far as graphing that goes, we know that our vertex is up here at 0, 4. And that negative means it's going down. There's our graph. If we wanted to graph the inverse using this graph, all we would have to do is take the points that we know, 0, 4, 2, 0, negative 2 comma 0 and switch the x and the y. So what happens? 0 comma 4 goes to 4 comma 0. 2 comma 0 would go to 0 comma 2. And negative 2 comma 0 would go to 0 negative 2. And our parabola would look like this. Does it look like it's been reflected over the diagonal line? Yes. If we wanted to use our equation to graph the red graph, our equation is right here, plus or minus the square root of negative x plus 4. That actually means that we have two equations. We have one equation with the positive, so that would be positive square root of minus x plus 4, and one equation with the negative, negative square root of negative x plus 4. What kind of transformations do we have in this top one? What is that negative going to do? Flip it over the y, and then the 4. OK. So again, here, we're, this is we're tempted to say 4 to the left, right? But this is a special case. It has to be written in factored form because we have a vertical, I mean, a horizontal reflection and a horizontal translation. So we're going to take the time to rewrite this one in factored form, which makes it x minus 4, and the same thing with the bottom one. Factor out that negative to be x minus 4. So if we were graphing this, we would take our square root graph. The negative would flip it over the y so that now it's going towards the left. And move it 4 to the right. And sure enough, it would be there opening up. The second one would have two flips. It would flip it down and then flip it across and then move it four to the right. 
And so you would have one equation matching with the top part and one equation matching with the bottom part. I can go down just a bit, you bet. Is the inverse, is the red graph a function? No. no. So for part C there, no. It doesn't pass the vertical line test. Questions for this one are 5 and 6.